Welcome to 10 Minutes of Grace with Bishop Jean W. Bruno. Each week, this broadcast comes into your home sharing insights to help you understand the nature of God. This is a powerful time that is sure to revive, encourage, energize, and uplift you. We cannot wait to see the new thing that God is about to do in your life. So tune in every Tuesday to 10 Minutes of Grace. And remember, his grace is sufficient. And now here is Bishop Bruno with a powerful word. Praise the Lord. Well, welcome uh, to 10 Minutes of Grace. And uh, thank you for watching. And I hope that you share this video with someone else. Uh, the title of my talk today is The Next Move of God. The next move of God. Matthew chapter 1. But while Joseph thought ab about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid uh, to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her womb is of the Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So Mary knew she was pregnant with the Messiah, but Joseph was not so sure. He had doubts, but God in heaven wants Joseph to know it, and to know it now before the rest of the world becomes aware. God is about to appear to Joseph and announce something very new because God is always doing something new. So Joseph goes to sleep very disturbed that night, but what Joseph does not know is that God is about to visit him. God is about to visit your house. God is doing something new in your life and your family. So you need to make room in your life for the next move of God. Our theme for 2024 is make room, make room for the Holy Spirit. You need to make room in your life for the next move of God. God did not move in Joseph's life because of his wealth or his wisdom or his gifting. Today, the Holy Ghost today is announcing a new move of God in your life. A new move of God is coming to your house. Do you want to find a place of grace with the Lord? Uh, do you need mercy in your life right now? Do you wish to be touched by the healing power of the Lord Jesus Christ? I say this as a word from the Lord. God is about to appear to you. God is about to pronounce something amazing over your life. Expect God Almighty to visit you, to visit where you are. He wants to intervene in your normal activities. The Bible says, draw near to God and watch him draw near to you and anoint you for the coming year. I pray that God is going to give you a double portion for the coming year. God is doing something big, something spectacular in your life. It's time to move into a new dimension of glory. Hallelujah. A heavenly place has been prepared for you. God wants us, God wants us, wants us to come boldly into the throne room of grace. He's about to release new confidence within you. And listen to me right now, right now. I break, I break any spirit of fear that has crept into your life because God 
has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, of love. And of a sound mind, I rebuke the spirit of fear that has crept into your life right now. So there is power in the supernatural connection that we have with Jesus. He gives us access to the Father and all heavenly blessings. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. So as we are taught in the scriptures... There are times and seasons in which God releases spiritual deposits. And I'm telling you right now, I feel that, that God is making a supernatural deposit into your spiritual bank account. Amen. He's depositing love. He's depositing joy. He's depositing power and glory. Oh, hallelujah. God is making spiritual deposits in your life right now. Uh, God is opening spiritual doors. God is bringing a double portion of anointing in your life. Spiritual restoration is coming. Favor is coming into your house. Now Isaiah chapter 42 verse 9. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 9. Uh, everything I prophesied has come true. Everything I prophesied has come true. And now I will prophesy again. I will tell you the future before it happens. Everything has happened just as I said it would, says the Lord. And now I will announce what will happen next. So what I'm saying is that get ready. The next move of God is coming into your house. Get ready. The next move of God is coming soon into your house. I declare supernatural gifts will manifest in your life in a new way. The working of miracles, the gifts of healing, the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom, supernatural gifts will manifest in your life in a new way. Glory to God. It's about to happen. And this week, remember, grace, amazing grace is coming your way.